be back here tonight. We're going to start the song service off. We have you Kindle. Turn to page 258. 258 tonight in Hymnal. Redeemed how I love to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed and risen for the mercy. His child and forever I am. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed.
good service this morning. Hey, Amen. Appreciate everybody being here. And I hope tonight God will do something special for you. Hey. Good to be back in His house. I thank hey. God for a place to come, worship Him, and thank God for the opportunity one more time to be here in His house. We're going hey. to pray and ask God to bless the service tonight. Continue remember those, Sister Mary, in prayer. I pray for her. Got to go to the doctor and see what she's going to do. Uh, go up there and see what they can find out. She can find out. Pray for her. Pray for these others. Pray that God have touched those. Brother Ryan Marlowe in North Wilkesboro has been sick for over close to a year. Remember him. Let's just pray for these others today. Continue to remember my brother. Pray for him. And he's still grieving over his wife, Ashley. Pray for him. These others, y'all pray too that I'll be able to get my air conditioning unit put in hey. before long. Y'all, it's awful hot in that house. Y'all remember mm -hmm. that. But uh, I know that sounds carnal, but it ain't carnal. But it's it's hey. 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 God, you can help us to pray about like that. And, uh, but you pray for the meeting coming up. We're going to have Tuesday night, this Wednesday, this Tuesday night, starting the awesome August. Brother hey. Eddie Howard is going to be here preaching. Uh, uh, Tuesday night, you be here, and let's remember Sunday morning. Let's remember the service this coming. I ain't preached it'd be about a week or so since I preached. I'm looking forward to preaching. Amen. 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 Let you remember that and pray the Lord helps us. Let you pray for each other. Let's continue to pray for Amen. these folk and uh, pray for our uh, community. And uh, oh, anybody got outspoken requests tonight? Remember Josiah, Jacob, Jacob's out on the boat. Amen. Right else tonight, we pray. Pray for a girl named Betty Hood. She had cancer. Amen. Amen. Right else tonight. Heard my loss of Lewis, too, preaching. Uh, my, my children, especially, too. And uh, the Spring God sent that fire to the book. Amen. Amen. Right else tonight. Remember Dustin and I pray that he's still got that infection and his leg is still swollen and stuff. Uh, remember that, most of all, Mary's uh, salvation for him, most of all, Cameron Kingdom, Kingdom, and then remember Judge Stewart. Yes, sir. Amen. And what else can we pray? All right, we'll stand. But Mike's going to lead you a song. <coughs> Ask God to help us tonight as we come. Tonight. Father, we love you. Yes, yes. Thank you, God, for this privilege we have to pray. We know, Father, Lord, Lord you're good to us. We pray, Lord, Father, every day for goodness. We get good in the morning. Wake up, and God, you've been so kind to us. Thank you for your mercy, God. And thank you for your love and kindness. Thank you, dear God, for being good to us. I know, Father, without you, we're nothing. And I pray tonight, God. We come tonight, God, we ask you to lead with us in a mighty way tonight, God. And I pray, oh God, tonight. Oh God, you be with Brother Mars. He's preaching to us here in the week, God. I pray, God, give them liberty, God, like you never had. Strength in God, though he's tired. But I pray, God, give him the strength he needs to preach your word. Bless him, God. And he does their need, Lord. We pray, God, for our church. And I pray for those, Lord God, that's uh, coming in from vacation to get them saved. We pray, God, for these others, Lord, Lord that are sick. We ask you to touch them. We ask you, God, today, Lord, help us as your servants. Lord, I pray today, God, that you, God, just let them sit in heavenly places tonight. And I pray, the man of God, have liberty. I pray, God, for these requests. We pray for Jacob and Josiah. We ask you to put your hand upon them, keep them safe. We pray for these others that have been mentioned tonight that sick. We ask you to touch them. We do ask you tonight, God, to help us tonight, God. May God, you just uh, anoint you for serving one more time. Give them living and preach your word. Use them, Lord. And I pray tonight, God, help us. I pray, God, we'll see you do a great work in the service. I pray, God, God, back anything that may hinder this service tonight. Yes. They want to hear laws coming up without you tonight. They need to be built to us. May God help see them. Save them, Lord. May God help come and know you your Savior. Now God bless us for singing, but preaching, use it for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. Hey, he said, my favorite song. Amen. 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 There is coming a day when no heart ain't shut up, no more clouds in the sky, no more tears to dim the eye. Oh, it's Jesus forevermore. 
that is how I want to be. Hear, O oh Lord, my earnest plea. Let me be more like you and less like me. And someday, Lord, I know I'll be more like you and less like me.
Heavenly Father, we sure do ask you, dear God, to please help you tonight. We pray you take the message, Lord, and stir our hearts. Lord, we'll praise you. We'll give you glory. For all you do, for we ask you to bless you. Amen. Amen. As we look in verse 14 through 19, we will notice that Paul prays for three things for the Ephesians. First, that they would be strengthened with might by God's Spirit in verse 16. Second, that they might be able to comprehend the love of Christ and the fullness of God in verse 17 through verse 19. And then in verse 20 and 21, Paul, how Paul closes the prayer, he praises God who is able to do far above all that we ask or think. Yes. In other words, Paul tells us that God is the God of much more. Yes. And that's what I want to preach on tonight. Yes. The God of much more. Praise God. Praise God. When we think about God, we see first of all that He is much more in power. Amen. We see God's absolute capability. Notice again what it says in verse 20. Now to Him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. We can ask much from God tonight. Yes. Because He's all-powerful and His power is available to us. It is even above all that we ask or think. In other words, the power of Christ, like the love of Christ, is beyond human understanding or measurement. And this is the kind of power you and I need if we're going to walk in victory tonight. Amen. Praise God, aren't you glad? It was the power of God that saved us. Yeah. It is the power of God and the salvation. Paul talks about in Romans chapter 1. And we think about that power tonight. Aren't you glad that power is available to the child of God tonight? Yes, sir. Praise God, He'll pour His power out in the services, pull His power out on us individually. Thank God, aren't you glad when you can experience the power of God Amen. in the service tonight? Yes. Praise God. But as we think about it, we see that it's beyond human understanding. But I'm afraid we're not walking in victory tonight or today because we have, as Christians, have viewed God, Christ, as the God of much less instead of the God of much more. And we're going to look at some much more through the Word of God and through different texts tonight. Amen. We do. We, we, we view God many times as the God of much less. The answer is because many times we look at situations through human eyes. Sure. We look at we lean on our own understanding and thinking instead of looking at all things through spiritual eyes and using our spiritual understanding as the Bible tells us to do. He said in Proverbs 3, 5 to 7, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not in thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy path. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. My gracious alive, many times we cut ourselves off from the source of power because of leaning on our own understanding. Uh -huh. There's been times, uh, I don't know about you, but I get to thinking about a situation or something's coming up and I'll try to figure out how can I dodge this, how can I fix this, how can I do that, and I'll just get slapped away yeah, because right. I can't do nothing yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, Thank God if I'll get to praying and get to looking to God, get to asking Him and not lean on my own understanding, thank God the next thing you know, the power of God take care of me, is and I'll look back and say, how silly, how rough I was not to trust God. Yes, Lord, aren't you glad tonight yeah. we can trust in the power of God? Yeah. Aren't you glad tonight things don't always figure up? You ever yeah. notice how things don't come together on paper sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. Praise God, there have been times in my life the bills come up, but yeah. they didn't come out on the paper like I thought. But God, hallelujah. Yeah. God yeah. Me, and the power of God, you got to look at it. And uh -huh. lean and look at the God. And how the Lord what you know, what long, what long, it come about, and you got the very thing you need. Yeah, Praise God. Right. I heard one preacher say one time when his babies was young, uh, said they didn't have no money, didn't have no bill, and he said he was afraid, and God said, Brother, said, I own all the cattle on the hill, I milk the cow every now and then. He <laughs> said, Next thing you know, there's a bunch of milk on my door. Praise God on the doorpost of the house, sitting on the floor. Praise God, aren't you glad that we got a God? And if we need something, and if we need a little milk, he milked the 
ain't dead. Amen. Praise God, I'm glad tonight that we trust in the power of God. Amen. 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 My gracious life, His absolute capability. He is the God of much more power. We've seen that. We trust His absolute capability. We can also trust in His absolute dependability. Yes, Again, sir. notice what He told in verse 20. He said, uh, Now to Him that is able to do abundantly above all that we ask or think, uh, according to the power that worketh in us. His power works in us and through us. See, you can depend on God's power. Gideon is a prime example of one depending on God's power. You know the story how God cut Gideon's army down from 32,300. And God gave Gideon victory over the Midnight by 300 men. They went into battle depending on God's power, not their own. And another example is David when he killed Goliath. David was depending on the power of God. Man, he'd already been tried with a lion and a bear, but now he's going against a giant. And the Bible says in 1 Samuel 17, 45 to 46, then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, with a spear, yes, yes. and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defiled. This day will the Lord deliver thee into thy hand, and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee, and I will give thy carcass to the host of the Philistines this day, and to the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, and they all the earth will know that there is a God in Israel. I remember one brother, Lon Lon Boker, preach that message, how to get the big head. Thank God David got the big head, because it depended on God's power. Thank God I want to tell you today, that giant wasn't no match for him. And praise God, I'm glad that God's power is the you and I can do things that we couldn't do without God. Right. We can't do a thing ourselves, but we got a God, and He's the absolute dependable yes. God. Thank yes. God, I'm glad I serve a God that knows what I need. He knows what I need for I need it. Thank yes. God, He knows what I'm going to need tomorrow. Yes. Let God know on tea today, and He's going to supply the need. Praise yes. God, I'm going to say yes. glory. Hallelujah. That's the yes. of God. That takes away the sin yes. of the earth. Yes. Praise His holy name. My gracious alive. I'm about to get stirred up. I got stirred up. I'm free. Yes, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. He is the God of much more. He is much more in power and He is much more in grace. Hallelujah. Thank God. He giveth more grace. The Bible said in James 4, 6, But He giveth more grace, wherefore He saith, God resists the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. See, God gives grace unto the humble. Satan would have us to be like Him, all pumped up and full of pride. Uh, My grace is alive, but God giveth grace unto the humble. Pump full of pride and arrogance and depending on herself. But God wants us to humbly depend Amen. on His grace. After all, it is grace that saves us. Yes. The Bible says in Ephesians 2 8, For by grace are you saved through faith and not in yourself. It is the gift of God. Amen. Praise God, He's got much more in grace. He giveth more grace. I'm telling you something. And it's God's grace that sustains us. God showed His grace at Calvary in the salvation of hell deserving sinners. And now He stands ready to give more grace to the humble. Amen. Boy, ain't that a wonderful thing tonight to know yes, that God gives more grace. Thank God divine grace did not call, cease to flow towards us when we receive Jesus as Savior. He is the God of more grace today. Praise God. How much grace you need? He's got it. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. God. I want to say He's the God of more grace again. Yes, he giveth us more grace. More grace. Praise God, I want to tell you something today. Boy, that time I, I've had my mom and daddy to be very long-suffering with me. But thank God, they ain't never been as long-suffering to me as God. And oh, He's long-suffering because of His Amen. grace. Not because of anything I've done, but because of His Amen. grace. Amen. He's very long-suffering to us. Amen. Thank God, I'm glad tonight that He gives us more grace. Amen. Amen. Man, sometimes we, we don't want to give too much, do we? Yeah. Right. But God's not like us. Amen. Think about it. And now he stands ready to give more grace. Well, sometimes we as Christians stray from God and
So many times we get proud, too proud to confess to God that we have sinned. That is when God will resist us. But our fellowship with God is broken. But if we'll bow in humility and confess our sins to God, then God will give us more grace. Notice what he said over there in Psalms 138. He said in that Psalm 138, 6, Though the Lord be high, yet have he respect to the lowly. But the proud he knoweth the far off. So we see that God gives us more grace. And we see that God gives us schooling grace. Think about this. The Bible says in Titus 2, verse 11 and 12, For the grace of God to bring us salvation have appeared to me in teaching us that denying the ungodliness of worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. The verse 12 says teaching us. The word teaching has the idea of discipling. We are discipled by God's grace. God trains us in His grace. God makes us the kind of people that have glorified God by His grace. Boy, isn't that something that God didn't just save us and say, Fend for you, save us. Thank right. God He left the Holy Ghost. Yeah. But he got, he got a boatload of grace for it. Amen. Praise God, aren't you glad today that if you take the ocean, uh, uh, you can take it, and you can, uh, the ocean is full of, of the things, uh, think about the ocean and how deep it is. Well, I want to tell you, God's grace is deeper than the ocean. It's higher than the highest God. Thank God, I want to tell you tonight, that old song says, boy, you can't exhaust the things of God. Boy, I tell you, you get to want to pray try to exhaust the praises of God. You get to praise Him, God. You can't praise Him enough. Amen. You can't exhaust the grace of God. You can't exhaust the love of God. He said that they may be able to comprehend the length, breadth, and depth of God's love at the first of that text. Amen. Praise God. I want to tell you tonight, Brother Ricky. Yeah. Praise God. I, you can't run it out. Praise God. His love is forever and ever. Amen. He loved us when we was unlovable. Amen. He loved us when we were saving grace of God, you and I still be in the ditch. Amen. Yes. My graces. Romans 5 20, moreover the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abound, grace did much more. Yes, sir. I'm glad to be here. When I first got saved, praise God, and Chris, I might have told y'all this before, I don't know, I'll tell it to God. But whenever, when I got saved, I, I worked down the motorcycle shop. Uh -huh. And all my buddies that come in around Christmas that live from out of town, they'd bring me a fifth of liquor. Mm -hmm. And I went back to work, and them boys, they didn't thought I'd go crazy yeah. because I got saved. Uh -huh. You know how they are? They said, he, they, we call it getting in the amen corner. Yeah. They said, he's in the amen corner. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, I come back from my lunch break, and there was three or four fifths of liquor on my toolbox. Yeah. The people had brought by one of them come in town, and they'd bring them by and leave them for Christmas. I'd worked on the motorcycles and they'd, they'd do that. And so I just went in there and boys, I seen one of them touched up and said, let's see what he does. Mm -hmm. 
So I just got them all gathered up and went out there and busted them in the dumpster. No. <laughs> and they said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You've gone crazy. And they said, what's happened to you? I said, what you mean is what's happened to me? I said, man, why do you do that? You ought to give it to us. I said, I'd just be able to drink it as to give it to you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they said, what happened? How'd you, what come by? What done? What God do? I said, God come by his grace. Yeah. <laughs> In his power. Amen. I said, and guess what? He's much more to me than that. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Amen. He's much more to me than this world. Yeah. Yeah. He's much more to me. I said, I found out he's the God of much more. Yeah. They said, oh, he's gone crazy. They, they didn't understand that. But thank God I found out in the years since I've been saved, he is much more, yeah. much yeah. more, yeah. much yeah. more, yeah. much yeah. more yeah. than this old world. Yeah. That's right. Much yeah. more. Yeah. Sure. Amen. That's good. Praise God. Amen. His saving grace. We're going to go on. I'm going to let you go in a little bit. I know you're tired. We're really just tired. Yeah. See, grace was not an addition to God's plan. Grace was a part of God's plan from the very beginning. It wasn't something He just added on. Mm -hmm. See, God dwelt with Adam and Eve in grace. He dealt with the, he dealt with the nation of Israel in grace. Mm -hmm. He gave the law through Moses not to replace His grace, but to reveal man's need for grace. Yeah. See, the law was given to show man his need of grace. Even though sin and death still reign in this world, God's grace is also reigning through the righteousness of Christ. Amen. Boy, isn't that wonderful tonight? Yes. When we think about that, we see God's much more will be enough to cover the whole range of our needs. Amen. Sure. Amen. You Amen. ever have any needs yeah. you don't know? Like I said, you don't know where to come, but his, He can cover them. Hey, yeah. Lord, Praise God, God, He always does. Yeah. See, one of the deep, deepest needs of man today is to be saved. And there is a God of much more to meet that need. Notice what the Apostle Paul says in Romans 5, 8 and 9. I think I mentioned this morning. But God committed His love towards us and while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us much more than being now just... There's one in much more than now justified by His blood. We shall be saved from wrath through Him. Yeah. Praise God. Not only is God much more in power, much more in grace, but He's much more in giving. Sure He is. Praise sure God. Is. Much more in His giving. Amen, brother. He gives good things. Yes. The Bible says in Matthew 7, 9 and 11, to, through 11, of what man is there of you whom if his son asks bread, will he give a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? Think about it. Yes, sir. He said, if you then being evil know how to Give good gifts unto your children. How? Look at there, another one and much more. How much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to him? Amen. 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 There's that much. God gives good things to his children. If the earthly father and mother know how to give good gifts to their children, then how could the heavenly Father give us? Right. Praise right. right. God. Yes. He is able to give, and he will give even much more than the tenderest mother could give. He has an abundant supply to meet every need. Whatever the Father sees to be good for us, He will give. He says He gives good things to them that ask Him. Amen. He gives material things. Yeah. Sure. Amen. As well as spiritual things. Amen, Father. Amen. Amen. God cares about it. He tells us that we are much more valuable or much of value to Him. He says in Luke 12, 6 and 7, are not five so far and sold for two far. Not one of them has forgotten before God, but even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of much more value than many spirits. Amen. Amen. He, he knows every hair that's fell out of your head. Sure does. Sure does. He knows every one that's fell out of your brush. You ever brush your hair, look in there and say, My gosh, where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? You realize it came out of your head. Yeah. 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 You get in the shower and you get through and say, Where'd all that come from? Yeah. <laughs> You're losing your hair. Yeah. yeah. Praise God. God knows everyone that's fell out. Yeah. He knows everything about us, the ends and the ends. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Huh? Right, so, when we think about all that God does, He is much more in Amen. Amen. Much more. Amen. Oh, He gives good things. We learn much from Him. He tells us not to be anxious about earthly things. 
Yes, sir. Matthew 6, 30 and 33. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which is today, and the tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you over the good thing? Much Amen. more. Yeah. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or when we shall we be clothed? Man, he just keeps on, just keeps on doing yeah. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek for, your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. Yeah. But seek you first the kingdom of God and all these things. And all these things will be added to you. Amen. Amen, preacher. He will give much more than we can even comprehend. Yes. Yes. What he said over in 1 Corinthians 2 9, but as it is written, I have not seen or ear heard. Neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love Him. Well, we can't even imagine all that God has prepared for us. God is not only much more in His giving, but He's much more in His promises. Yes, yes. Amen. praise God. Praise the Lord. He promises amen. His power. Think about that. First, in John 1, 12, but as many as receive Him, to them you need the power to come to the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. Acts 1 8, but yeah. you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and to the uttermost parts of the earth. 2 Timothy 1 7, for God had not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of sound mind. Amen. Oh, isn't that something? Listen, He's much more in His promises. He's promised us some things in the Word of God. Amen, brother. My gracious alive. He promises to seal us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He promises to seal us. Ephesians 1 13, after that you believe, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Yes, amen. Ah, gracious alive. Notice something else. He promises that to us that we'll be more than conquerors. Amen, preacher. Yeah. Romans 8 37, they and all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love, love us. us. Amen. Woo! Yes, amen. Glory to God! Hey, I'm telling you that such me, he said, promised us an eternal inheritance. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ricky sang about a little bit of what Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hebrews 9:15. Yeah. And that they, they which are called might receive the promise of an eternal inheritance. Amen. Well, I'm telling you something. We've got inheritance out there. People's killing for what we got waiting for us. Amen. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. 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 Yeah. They care we when we walking on streets of gold. People's people's <laughs> killing to get what we got waiting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, "Boy, that sure is a nice house old boy's got." It was. I got. They said, "Boy, that's a nice home." I said, "It sure is." I said, "Boy, don't compare to one of them." No. You know what? Bless God, that and I got to wait for taxes will never come to you. That's good. You sing this whole song, the taxes will never come to you. Amen. Praise God. Think about it. Boy, I, Amen. I have to pay taxes on my house every year. You know, yeah. they're going to skin it away from me. Yeah. Praise God, I got something laid up. They can't skin it away from me. Amen. Amen. Taxes will never come to you. Go out and pay the insurance bill or nothing. It won't ever rot. That's right. Amen. Every now and then I have to do a little paint. Yeah. Do a little spruce it up, fix it up. Praise God, that's already been made. It's going to last forever. Amen. Amen. Praise God. That gets me excited. Yes, amen. Yeah. Praise God. We've got an eternal man. We've got, we got something laid up that nobody in the stock market can fall or yeah. us. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Clothes wear out here. Yeah. Right? Don't have to worry about all that. Yeah, that's right. Praise God. Boy, when he sets up that new heaven and new earth, well, there'll be no more sins here. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Yes, sir. Uh, Won't need no police. Yes, everybody. And I'm talking about my inheritance. Yeah. God, I don't know why I got in on all this. This is your this yeah, good. Day. Day. See, He promised us that He's coming again. Amen. <laughs> Much more in His promises. Amen. Oh, man. He said in 2 Peter 3 4, where is the promise of His coming? He promised us a new heaven and a new earth. In 1 Peter 3 13, nevertheless, according to His promises, Look for a new heaven and earth wherein the well of righteousness. Amen. And he that promises us, he promises us eternal life. 
1 John 2.25. This is the promise. They have promised us even eternal life. Amen. Praise God. You know, people, it's not nothing wrong with having things down here. There's not a thing wrong with it. But praise God, I value what I got in heaven more than I value anything else. Amen. Me too, brother. Amen. My old place up there on Mile 26, West Maynard Street, I love it. Mm -hmm. Me and Terry love a little place. Yes, sir. But praise God, one day it's going to be rocked. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's rotting every day. Thank God I'm glad I got something stored up. Amen. 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 And it'll never rot. Mm. It'll never go away. Yes, and how long are you going to live there for eternity? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Because he is the God of much more. Yes. We can't even comprehend what's that. He said to him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly according to his power. Amen. Amen. Tried to show you tonight in the spirit of scripture that God is the God of much more. He's not the God of much less. No. Amen. The question is, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Can you tell how much more, much more he is? Mm -hmm. I can't. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we feel so small and insufficient. We feel like the psalmist when he said, What is man that thou art mindful of him? Yes. My yes mind. sir. But our smallness is not what matters. What matters is what God has promised. Yes. And he has promised much more than we can even imagine. Sure he has. Sure he has. He is able, no matter what our unbelief may say, to make grace to man towards us. Amen. Well, we need to repent of this unbelief and keep this thought ever in our mind that he's the God of much less. He's not the God of much less. He's the God of much less. Sure he is. Amen. Amen. Oh, let's not dishonor him with an attitude that implies he is much less than he says. Amen. Amen. My grace is alive. Don't you just thank God for His grace and His mercy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is a God of much more. He's much more in His love. He's much yes. more in His yes. caring. He's much more. He's much more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. yeah. Praise God. Amen. Father, we sure do thank you, dear brother, that you are yes, God. Jesus. Jesus. We can't even comprehend all that you do for us. Lord, I just got to thank you today sitting back here and just talking. Fellowship. And God, you got a whole 